Hey everyone, I started tracking piping stocks three years ago and was pretty convinced with the growth story. The biggest growth driver for these UPVC and CPVC pipes was rising demand across sectors. First driver was real estate sector including both residential and commercial projects where earlier the entire plumbing used to happen with metal pipes. But the challenge was corrosion, metal pipes would corrode and hence UPVC and CPVC pipes started replacing them big time all over the country. Moreover, these UPVC and CPVC pipes are very light and have high durability. So they are easy to install, cost much lower than metal pipes and are long lasting. So considering the growing demand for housing and commercial projects, piping sector looked very promising. Then second driver was government initiatives. Indian government had set up massive plans to ensure that proper drinking water is available to rural part of the country and that required UPVC and CPVC pipes. Moreover, these pipes found usage in agriculture sector as well as sanitation projects in rural area. So I did my research and identified multiple companies in this space and leading players were Estrel, which is an undisputed leader in the space, then Supreme Industry, Pins Pipe, then Phenolix Industry and Apollo Pipes. However, it's been a tough time for piping companies in the last couple of years. After generating great returns, they struggled big time, especially in FI23. As a result, all piping companies' stock price corrected significantly, including Prince Pipe. I did a video last year where I explained the reason for correction. The key reason was sharp fall in PVC prices, which is linked to the international market. So when PVC prices started falling, piping companies had to sell their inventory at lower cost. And since the PVC price correction was very sharp, it badly impacted the margins of piping companies. Now due to sharp fall in PVC prices, the dealers started destocking their inventory that resulted in fall in volume growth and eventually the revenue growth. However, in the last few quarters, PVC prices have started to increase. As a result, piping companies have started seeing improvement in operating margins and the dealers started restocking their inventory. But in spite of that, Prince Pipe share price is falling. So if you look at its chart, it zoomed exponentially in 2020 and 21 and touched a high of around 850 rupee, but then it corrected to lows of around 500 rupee, which was the case with almost all piping companies due to fall in PVC prices. But then share price started recovering and touched levels of 750 rupee. However, in the last couple of months, its share price has fallen around 25%. So I've received multiple requests to discuss the reason for correction in Prince Pipe share price. Now the biggest trigger for 25% correction in Prince Pipe is due to weaker Q3 result. Prince Pipe Q3 sales fell down around 12% year on year and net profit jumped only 6% year on year. More importantly, its volume declined by 2% whereas its peers like Estrel have reported volume growth of 15%, Apollo Pipe volume growth is 5%. So in short, Prince Pipe has underperformed as compared to the industry in last few quarters. Now I went through the latest con call and identified two key reasons for underperformance. First is challenges in ERP implementation. So Prince Pipe has implemented a new ERP that is enterprise resource planning software that had some implementation challenges that resulted in loss in market share. And second reason is incorrect pricing. Prince Pipe had priced some of its product at higher levels and got outpriced by competitors. Although they have now reduced the pricing to make it at par with competitors. While first reason of ERP implementation challenge is operational and I can understand. But second reason is more strategic and it did not work out really well for the company. Because there is certainly a strong competition in piping sector because of the bright growth prospect. So management has acknowledged the underperformance and mentioned that we are in the process to regain the market share. Now the question was, when can we expect Prince Pipe to post good performance? On that, Management mentioned that we continue to work in network expansion, new product launches and create visibility for the brand. And we are confident that the action we have taken will see results from first quarter of next financial year. It means in the current quarter that is Q4 of FI24 also there is not much expectation. But Q1 of FI25 can start showing better results. So this is the key update on Prince Pipe and reason for correction. Now if you look at the valuation, today Prince Pipe is trading at around 570 rupee with a market cap of around 6300 crore and at current levels, it commands a P ratio of 30, EV to beta of 16.5 and price to sale of 2.4. So valuations are looking very decent at the moment. Hence, from here I don't expect a major downside. Now if you look at its shareholding pattern in last 1-2 years till December 23, both FIs and DIs have added stake in the company. 
Especially DIs have added big stake from lows of 11.7% to now at 18.4%. And public holding has reduced consistently from 21.3% to 14.9%. So institutional investors buying stake in Prince Pipe is a positive sign. It shows their confidence. However, now everything would boil down to their FY25 performance. If they can recover the lost market share and start growing, share price can go up. But any failure in growth can further result in derating. Having said this, I would like to keep my faith in the company for at least next 2-3 quarter. Especially when the share price is already corrected significantly and valuations are quite comfortable. Like I said, it was a difficult phase for piping sector companies in FI23. However, FI24 has shown some good margin recovery and the long term prospect for piping companies are still intact. Again, you don't necessarily have to ride this piping sector theme with Prince Pipe. There are many other companies including S12, Supreme, Phenolix, Apollo Pipes and for that matter you even have Prakash Pipe where recently ace investor Mr. Mukul Agarwal has invested money in December quarter. But this video was specially to understand the underperformance of Prince Pipe and I hope you got the reason. Now I don't want to stress this video further. By the way, if you are a long term fundamental investor looking to build a solid portfolio for wealth creation, you can explore my weekly video series where I also discuss my own portfolio detail and stocks I am bullish on. Details are provided in the pinned comment. And also let me know which companies you want me to cover next. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next video. Till then, take care.